Good morning, travelers. That's a prime driver. That's a Jersey barrier. He's trying to pull out from underneath his trailer. Let's see if I can blow it up without going too crazy. He's got a chain there. Somehow, he got a jersey barrier, which is a concrete wall. Between that back bumper, which we call the ICC bumper, and his tandem. How do you do that is beyond me. He's got a chain hooked up to it. Next to a nice big W9, two over. But we're sitting here in our Golden Colorado Wheatland, they call it. Um, I don't need these on. I don't even know why I had them on. But this is Monday. What the heck is he doing? Wow, this gets more interesting. Let me flip you back around. He is trying to nose up in this corner. I'm to get my hand in there. That's him right there. He just tried to nose up over here because now he's disconnected. So now he's trying to figure out how to get back around and get out of there. See, he's... I don't know if there's... I don't know what he's doing. Prime, Swift, JB Hunt, all those guys, they make me nervous. Well, evidently, there must have been some uh, an alleyway over there or something that he could get through. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Another nice W9 right there. Yep. Where'd my hand go? There it is. Yeah, there it is right there. All right, guys. Well, welcome to a Monday. Woohoo! Let's see what we can see today. We're here for the day. We're not going anywhere. Uh... Can't pick up my load until tomorrow morning. So, I just wanted to get here ahead of the storm. I would have liked to have videoed it, but it was all in, in the dark, as you can currently see. But this is a TA. They call it in Wheatland, Golden, Colorado. That's Interstate 70 right there. Hey, come back around, there he is. See if he can flip a Yui and hook back up to his trailer. Wow. I drove by him. I circled around there. Eek, 
confused. All right, guys. On that, as always, God bless. I love you guys. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll get back to you. Hey, we're back. We're going for a little walk. Remember that uh, concrete barrier I told you that was previously? Um, well, there it is. That somehow got behind. Someone's IC bumper, which is on the back of our trailers. See that bumper that comes down right there? Right there? It was between that bumper and those wheels. Not on that particular trailer, but that's part of it. Here's the other part of it. So somehow, he had to have done some damage. Looking at all that rebar sticking up. But yeah, somehow he got in between that bumper and those wheels on his trailer. Sitting right over there. And you can see the drag marks. Where the heck did he go? I guess he could get around here. We could have backed up and turned around too for that matter. Wow. It's a little dicey driving through here. It's, it's open, but it's not recommended for us to, to be there. So we're just gonna walk around. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Welcome to the fuel side. Nice little W9 over there. She's about 20, um, that's Interstate 70 right back over there. And it was up this hill, I think. I'm not sure if this is the mountain where that guy come down the mountain wrecking. Because that is 70. I just don't know if that's the area where a couple years ago where that uh, tractor trailer came down the mountain. And... Uh, Plowed into a bunch, into a traffic jam for that matter. Killed I forget how many, but yeah. But not too bad. And yes. It is, it is what it is. So we're gonna walk around inside, but. The photo, I'll just walk over there, we got time. We're here all day. The photo at the beginning where it says, Good morning, Golden, Colorado. This is golden, but they're calling it Wheat, Richland or something like that. I could have it wrong. Not like I've never been wrong. But, because uh, we're parked on this side over here <laughs> not like you guys want to walk around a truck stop with me but I don't know some of my old old friends might uh, kind of miss this and this is a TA here in Golden Colorado everything is paid parking But we were parked right around where that noosh bomb is parked. And they said it was okay for parking, so we're like, okay. 
So that's the that's the snapshot, but we got no sun or uh, beautiful sunrise. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna walk inside. I'm not gonna walk around the horn. I'll get back to you. Well, it's time to drive my brain nuts. We got to get this thing restudied. I got to recertify my hazmat endorsement. So it's study time. Lots of study time. All this fun and dandy stuff. So, yep. It's time to get back to studying. So, well, we're going to roll this day up. We're just sitting around. I'm, bl I'm blowing my brain up doing my studies. Back to school, as they would say. All right, guys and gals. I want to thank you for coming along. Walked around a little bit. Not much to show today. Just kind of, kind of a gray day outside. Still just kind of a blah. So we're gonna roll this up. We're gonna we're gonna get this out, and then uh, <laughs> I think that guy almost hit that barrier. Nope. They just like to park in front of people and. Yeah. So, wish me luck on the studying. All this fun stuff for testing. Yahoo. Yay. At least I got a little bit of time, but if I just slowly take bites out of it from here, here and there. Hazardous material classes. There's nine of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Study, study, study. All right, guys and gals. On that, as always, God bless. I love you. Lord willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.